everybody, this is Vial and I am back with another review for you guys. This time it's going to be another movie review. And like I said in previous videos, it's going to be a bunch of videos um, on my, you know, related to my trip, month-long trip to Manila, which I just got back from. Uh, this time it's going to be on t um, this movie, oh my gosh, okay, that I picked up on DVD. And this is The Mistress. Um, released this year, I don't know what month, I think it was sometime like in August or September or something, I believe. Um, yeah, three months for the DVD and stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so, um, The Mistress from the Philippines released in 2012. It is a melodrama, ro not a romantic comedy, it's a melodrama romance story. As you guys can tell from the title, The Mistress. Um, directed by Olivia M. Lamassan. It stars... Um, okay. This is the comeback movie of John Lloyd Cruz and Bea Alonso. If you are Filipino, have TFC, know somebody who's Filipino, your mom's Filipino and watches telenovelas and teleseries and stuff, you'd actually know this love team because they're the one of the most longest running love teams in the Philippines. And... Every movie that they have, every drama series is a sure block, block, blockbuster hit, sure fight hit. Just because, oh my god, they're so good and they have amazing on-screen chemistry. Um, <laughs> I'm rambling now, huh? Uh, this is the director's cut. I didn't notice that before, but it is the director's cut of The Mistress. Um, and it also stars veteran actor. Oh my god, I didn't know why I didn't mention that, but stars veteran actors Hilda Coronel and Ronaldo Valdez. Which I'll get through in a minute. Um, basic plotline. I'm going to read a blurb on the back. Um, <laughs> bold and charming JD, played by John Lloyd Cruz, meets the reserved and angelic Sari, played by Bea Alonso, an apprentice cutter in a tailoring shop where he is commissioned to renovate. As he falls in love with her, JD finds out that Sari is carrying on an affair with a much older married man. In spite of this, JD continues his pursuit of Sari. But JD has his own secret too, and this may spell the end for the romance. Um, I'm not actually giving too much or spoiling it, but it's titled The Mistress because Bea Alonso plays Sari, who's actually a mistress to an older man, played by Ronaldo Valdez. And um, JD, I'm not going to spoil that part of the plot, but he has a very very bad relationship with Ronaldo Valdez's character. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. So, um, that's the basic premise of the movie. Uh, this DVD is actually like the standard Filipino release. There's a bunch of pictures. This is their director of the movie. And it pulls out into this. She's Bay Alonso. And the other main characters, oh gosh, Hilda Coronel and Ronaldo Valdez. And each of them has like a little spiel that says, you know, John Lloyd Cruz's part says the lover. Of course, Bea Alonso says the mistress. And then Hilda Coronel says the wife. And Ronaldo Valdez says the benefactor. Um, then it says in the inside, love begins with attraction. I'm not going to read that, actually. It's kind of cheesy. Okay. <laughs> um, in the movie, uh, John Lloyd Cruz... Okay, like I said, they have amazing explosive chemistry. And this is no different in this movie. John Lloyd Cruz's character is JD. He is a very successful architect, self-made man, who falls in love with Sari. But unfortunately, while she is amazingly nice and perfect, you know, girl... She is carrying on a, an affair with an older married man played by Ronaldo Valdez. First things first, I there was a squeaky factor of Bea Alonso kissing Ronaldo Valdez who could actually play her grandpa or dad. Very weird, but they pulled it off and Ronaldo Valdez is a veteran, veteran actor in the Philippines. So uh, it wasn't that bad when I watched it. Very compelling melodrama. I, you know, it's more on the story of how love can transcend um, loyalty and what does it really mean to be in love with a person and 
love between a father and a son and families and also a daughter's you know filial um, dedication through being the breadwinner of a family so uh what was i gonna say it is very oh my god like i'm a huge fan of john lloyd cruz and bay alonso and this movie is really a very mature turn for them um they had a previous movie i think a couple years ago called one more chance which is a little bit more mature but this really pushes the bounds and really shows them as mature you know actors who had grown you know into their you know respective fields in acting and you know had really shown that acting chops and actually have both blossomed into very credible amazing actors that you know they can make you cry drop up a hat so um it's you know i love that the fact that it's a very complex very compelling plot line about passion infidelities family and it's a very honest depiction of how you know people can fall prey to their obsessions and their passions and also how you know not everything is a happy ending um i kind of felt cheated though in the end because there's this fantasy sequence of them getting married um jd and sari then it turns out to be a cop-out and they don't really get married but it's good too because it shows that not everything in life can actually not every love story can be have a happy ending so i give this movie uh four and a half i really enjoyed it it's you know it's something that you can watch it's you know cry about buckets of tears just have a tissue box right next to you um i thoroughly recommend uh one more chance which is um another of the bay alonso john lloyd cruz movies so i really recommend that and yeah, uh, this version actually comes with um, it's a bunch of special features. There's like a special 10th anniversary anniversary 10th anniversary booklet. Where is it? It's this. I think it's a really pretty DVD release. Yeah, it's a bunch of pictures and stuff. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can see a picture of them from previous movies. Let's see. Nope, new. No, there isn't any of them here. But, oh, here. These are all the other movies they've done. And between them and their love team, they have like 10 years worth of series, drama series. There's like about like six, seven movies that they've done since that um, time. So, that's all that. Uh, and that'll be it for this movie review. Um, I don't even really have like that much of a recommendation for anything else because it kind of stands on its own in itself there's been a slew of like a mistress like affair type of movies in manila right now there's like a secret affair there's also um no other women sorry and curtis um but this one's a little bit different i think just because i love the love team but that's it bye guys